Biblical Sexual Purity Teaching Godly Sexuality Hello everybody, I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. About three weeks ago, I had a revelation. I just returned from church service and I decided to pray. I was moving in my house and I was praying in the living room. And I heard God told me that there are three things I am doing that He wants me to make corrections on, that I am failing in three ways. So I said, God, how am I failing you? So I was praying, as I was praying, He told me one which is actually what I know of, giving God more of my time. And then as I prayed, I said, okay, let me just lie down on my on my chair, uh, probably pray, pray quietly and hear from God what I'm actually doing that He wants me to correct. So as I was lying down, I was praying and I had, I fell into a trance. In the vision, I saw a lady, she was putting on a very tight skirt and the skirt was short. As she was moving, passing by, I discovered in the revelation that she was attracting so much attention and people were looking at her the next thing i saw was a finger pointing at my face god was telling me i wasn't seeing the person but somebody was pointing at my face and giving me a very serious warning and god started scolding me and told me Hosanna, i told you to address these things don't keep your mouth shut address these issues don't be silent and as it was scolding me i started screaming in the dream uh, in the trance i was screaming in the vision i was screaming ah 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 i woke up i was still screaming and it was like the finger was physical it was like i was seeing it physically i was shifting backward and screaming ah ah ah, ah. i screamed for about three to five times when i woke up and I finally realized that it was just a revelation and I felt so bad. Actually God gave me a, a, a command. I Normally my egoeyeopener.com, I created a blog, Biblical Sexual Purity, where I used to, uh, I put a few articles there about sexual purity. Uh, but lately, the Lord told me to launch a website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, which I actually did. But because uh, people don't talk about these issues, men of God don't as address sexual issues, even as it concerns church members. Everybody, uh, almost everybody to say is behaving like a hypocrite, as if those things don't actually exist in our society. So I was kind of cold and not trying to put myself into this, involve myself in these issues uh, deeply. But after the revelation, I knew that this is what God is telling me. God told me I should address these issues. And there is a way the website is designed so that people can go and register. It's a community website. You can go and register and then ask questions and answer questions. And I want to use this opportunity to call on everybody that is God-fearing. Uh, whether you have a challenge, you have a question, you are a Christian counselor, I want to invite you. Please go to biblicalsexualpurity.com and register. I can't do this work alone. I need believers who can join us with me and address this issue of sexual immorality in our society. Please just go to biblical sexual purity. Uh, there are some articles I've written. In fact, there are things that the Lord has revealed to me, which I actually wrote that week, and I will put in some. I put some articles there, and I'm putting some of the things that the Lord has revealed to me there. But please just go there and register, and also follow us on our YouTube channel, Biblical Sexual Purity, and God will bless you. Don't keep your mouth shut. If you're a pastor, God is not happy with the situation of the world. He wants us to address this issue. The church that God is coming, Jesus is coming for is a 
holy church, not a sensual church, not a pornographic church, not a sexy church, but the church that is filled with the Holy Ghost, a church that fears the Lord. A people who are having in their, at the back of their mind that God is holy and that whosoever that must please God must please Him, even in holiness. Thank you. God bless you.